Tour through a new app I made to handle related products for your Shopify store. So it's called You Might Like This. It can be found at youmightlikethis.heroku.com. So we'll sign up here. Got a nice little store ready to go to accept it. Little test store. Do you want to accept this app? One link will be added to your store and products. So that's good. We'll install. Should work fine. Take me back to my home page. So I'm in. This is good. I'm going to return to Shopify where I've got some products in my test store. You can see one, two, three, four, five. So the idea of using this app is pretty simple. All you do is click on a product, for example, Digitized Reciprocal Challenge. And there's a new link here called Related Products. So I want to relate Digitized Reciprocal Challenge to some other products in my store. So I'm going to click on Related Products. And I've got a nice grid here. So these are the other products in my store. And I can choose to make them related to this one. So I'm going to do a little tick mark between these two. So I've now got digitized uniform help desk and multi-channeled clear thinking workforce. I'll give you a nice little picture thumbnail of your product. There's the handle. Basically all you have to do is hit this button called set related. There we go. These two products are now nice and green. Little notice. So you're good. Now you can simply go back to Shopify and see what happened. And actually you won't see much happen because this is all under the hood. These are meta fields that have been assigned. So now we want to look at digitized reciprocal challenge. So I happen to have that store open and it's here. So there's the picture. The thing is, if I want to see the related products, I'm going to drive through this typical Shopify store. I don't see any related products. So I have to modify my theme now to take advantage of that little app. So what I've done is I've created a little gist here with a bunch of code. There's a file called API.js. This is standard Shopify JavaScript API. No harm in loading that. I made a little product.liquid. This is all the stuff you can copy and paste right into your product.liquid in your store and it'll just start working. And you need to modify your theme a little bit to make sure that you have jQuery, a template library, and the API. So I'm going to first of all take this little bit of code here, copy and paste. You don't necessarily have to do it this way. There's many ways to do this. Um, Actually, I'll take the raw code here. It's much easier to deal with, copy and paste. So now we'll go back to my theme, template editor, theme.liquid. It turns out that it's just easier for me to deal with jQuery. So if you don't like jQuery, we can fix that in the future. But for now, it uses jQuery. We've already got jQuery loading up in this old theme. So basically, I'm just going to blow that away and put in the new one. And by copying in this stuff, I'm not doing any harm. I'm just basically tinkering with my theme. So now I'm pulling in the new jQuery. I'm pulling in the template library. And I'm pulling in this thing called API.js, API.js as an asset. So I'm going to save my theme. And I now need to upload that asset. So under assets here, I'm going to have to add a new one. I'm going to choose a file. Turns out I've already got this on my hard drive uh, on my desktop. I made a little directory. I downloaded that stuff for the app. And so here I have API.js. So now that lives in my Shopify store. No matter how you get it into your store, it doesn't really matter. Get it from the gist into your store, you're going to be good to go. Let's go now to the actual product.liquid template which drives your store. And I can see this one includes a snippet called product. So I'll pull up the snippet called product. And maybe what I'll do is make my screencast a little nicer, open this up in a new window here, and start editing. So if I go back to this gist, and I go back to the product.liquid stuff that I've done, it's pretty darn simple. I need a little container somewhere in my product.liquid where I want those to render. So 
so it turns out that I can do that pretty much anywhere. How about we just do it underneath the description? So there I've pasted some code. It's not really formatted nice because the Shopify editor isn't perfect. But let's just see if we can make this a little bit nicer. It's not super important. The main thing to, to catch the gist of here is I've got this UL, which is empty, with a class of related. And I've got a div ID related here. That's important stuff. If we save and we just take a quick look, we should, in fact, see you might like this. Okay, that's kind of big and obnoxious, but that's due to the style sheets of this particular site. So I'll just change these to an H2, see what happens. Okay, that's a little better. You might like this, still no related products. So what are we gonna do? We'll go back to the gist here. I need to grab the data from the app. That's done with this little bit of liquid here. So I'm gonna paste this liquid. Actually, you can paste it anywhere into this template. So let's do that. Let's just go to the bottom, paste in a bunch of liquid. That's nothing to worry about. Save. Now, if we go back to our site here and we reload, nothing's changed. But if we do a little inspection on our site, we should be able to see at the very bottom of this script some stuff that's interesting. And I guess it would be our product. And let's take a look here. Nah, forget it. I'm not that interested. Let's grab the one last thing that we do need, and that's a little bit of JavaScript. So we have a template, and we have an onload. We'll copy, go back here, and let's paste that in. Doesn't really matter where you paste it, so let's just paste it at the very end of product.liquid. Save that. So we're done. Basically, we've introduced this little JavaScript template here. We have a little bit of JavaScript that says if you have related products, make them look pretty. So let's just see if that worked. Look at that. There's my related products. One, two, that's exactly the ones that I ticked off. Now, uh, it looks ugly because I have no styling on these. And uh, that'll be something that's fairly easy to do. In this template here, we can see that we're just stamping out an image. For now, let me just make these very small. So I'll say the height is 50 and the width is 50. Not the classiest way to work, but it'll do. So I'll save that, refresh. And there is my unordered list with no CSS of my two related products. And if I click, there's my digitized uniform help desk. Hey, pretty neat. Go back here, click on the other. There's my related multi-channel clear thinking workforce. If I go back to the app now, and this is kind of interesting, say, what are the related products? And I do a clear, I now have no related products. So essentially, if I go back to my site and I say, hey, remember this digitized reciprocal challenge? If I reload, it has no related products. Well, let me change that. I'm gonna say you're related to these three things now. Beautiful, let's set them. That didn't take too long. Let's kill this off, go back to the store. Well, let's just refresh the site. Boom, there's my three related products. It's that easy. One for one, nice little grid, easy to manage. I got a product, I wanna make some related products to it. A Little bit of Ajax and you get a nice grid. Now, obviously if you have thousands of products, it's a little bit of an in-depth process. It shouldn't be too difficult for somebody to figure out. Make check marks, click a button, you're done. That simple. Or get rid of it, you're done. That simple. So 
I hope you enjoyed this little screencast on the new app called You Might Like This, which you can get at heroku.com or your Shopify store.